That's Martin leaving me. Maybe he saw me though, and that's why he stopped. What's up guys? Welcome back to the last video. Yeah, it's gonna be the last video with Siva. We're in Little America, heading to Denver, walking the dog. It's cold out. So we're gonna go and uh, get on the road. See you later. go back to bed and uh, leave the filming up to Martin but I just wanted to say um, Siva since day one has been so nice we're in there just now the, the lady the night lady I, I don't know your name if you watch the channel I'm sorry uh, but she comes up she's like good news bad news which one do you want first and we're like eh, you know <laughs> and she's like well the good news is your trailer's ready the bad news is this is the last time you're gonna see me and um, I just wanted to say, you know, Siva, thank you again so much for everything. Tom, who recruited us originally, thank you for always being truthful. Jonathan, thank you for making changes to the route so it worked for us. Um, being willing to negotiate that with us, I, I so appreciate that. Uh, thank you both for your support of the channel. and not interfering with the production of the channel and letting everything just be organic and natural. Uh, Jorge, Jennifer here at Denver, I'm gonna miss you guys. You guys have been just sunshine and rainbows to deal with. New in Sacramento, man, I appreciate you. I know you watch the channel and um, I will miss all you guys. So I just, miss you guys it's uh it's hard to leave here uh you know old trailers aside Steve, Steve's been very good to us and the people they're they're amazing so just all of you guys thank you so much so I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to bed before I start crying because ugly crying is it's worse than me without my makeup on at three in the morning <laughs> New trailer lock has run out. Hopefully it's not a piece of crap. Huh. They want me to go into 16, but 16 sticking, so I guess they're gonna get it in 14.
all the hair. This looks pretty nice. What's up guys, we got our trailer, about to leave. We gotta take that off, because if we get stopped somewhere, we'll get a ticket. So that's awesome. Good thing I noticed that. This is our last load with SIVA. Um, bittersweet, I guess. It's, uh, I like working for them. I, I like the the, the the loads and it's gonna suck not running with the wife anymore but well, well, we got bigger plans for now and we got stuff that's going on at home that we need to be there for so yep last load so I'm gonna scrape this crap off and we're gonna get going because I gotta go all right all scraped off that's actually a pretty big find if you have a piece of a hazmat placard left on your trailer and you don't have hazmat and you get popped at a scale and they look at it and you can actually get a fine for it. So, always gotta make sure that that's not on there. This trailer is an old trailer but it's actually in pretty good shape. So, let's get out of here guys. my last driving shift not just with Siva but this is like this is it this is my last driving shift in this truck with my husband um, yeah it's my last shift so um, anyway we're here in Wyoming at the call truck stop, which I will not miss because it's so gross. <laughs> but the fuel is cheap and the truck likes running on their fuel. Uh, but we're here at the call. It's just outside of Laramie, Wyoming. I'm gonna get us into, uh, through the rest of Wyoming, into Utah, and we'll probably switch out in Elko uh, today and then I can get my farewells to Paul and Phil, however, that might not happen. I should have done that yesterday now and I'm thinking about it because no, we'll still switch out there because Battle Mountain has cheaper fuel but uh, my, my clock would be running out by the time we hit Elko so we'll we'll be switching there so I can say goodbye to them and uh, yeah it's my last shift guys I'm going to miss this <laughs> I'm, I, I think I'm going to miss this a little bit definitely going to miss driving my husband we have a good time out here. And uh, me and the old fancy hawk, we're just now starting to click. It's taken a while, but we're just now starting to click. And um, I'm gonna miss it. Anyway, for today's scenery, uh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna load you guys up with my favorite shots of, uh, of this route. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy them as much as I do, because uh, it's beautiful out here. It's absolutely beautiful out here. All right. Let's go. <laughs>
Alrighty, we made it to Elko, Nevada. I was gonna film outside, but um, it's so breezy. I, even with the mic. Yeah, okay, All right. Even with uh, this guy here, I, I don't think it's gonna work because it's, uh, it's been a pretty gnarly headwind, uh, much like the return trip uh, two days ago. Uh, all of Wyoming was uh, like a brick wall. Um, it's just like you're pushing up against that brick wall and you're just pushing and pushing and it's, it's not letting you push through. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain that. It's uh, It's been pretty brutal. And then on top of it today in Wyoming, they had uh, wind gusts. Uh, I think you guys should have seen on one sign uh, where it was saying 40 plus when you got to Fort Bridger, not only did you have the gnarly headwind, uh, but they also had to sign up saying there was gonna be wind gusts, uh, 45 plus starting about the sisters. So after you went over the sisters, you go down, you go up and you go down the, the second sister there, um, there was some pretty gnarly wind gusts. And I mean, I know it's, it's that headwind that we were fighting, but because the road curves the other way, it becomes a side wind. And they were very sincere. <laughs> Uh, I come around the corner and a gust got me and I, I woke right up. <laughs> it was, it was Wyoming. So, and, uh, going into Utah, it was a little, a little windy through the Canyon. Uh, then we got a little bit of break and then it was windy again through the salt flats. Again, just that headwind in Nevada, there's been the headwind and now we're here in Elko. It's still blowing and I wanted to film outside, but I'm just, it's not, not happening. So trip is going otherwise great. Uh, my shift is over. That's why I'm here at the passenger seat. Uh, we're going to put fuel on. We need to slide the axles on this trailer so it's California legal because it is a little smidgen far back and um, we don't want no problems with Cali. So we're going to slide those axles and then Martin's going to take over the driving part and get us into Sacramento. Uh, right now, I'm thinking we'll probably be in Sacramento in the 2 o'clock hour in the morning. Uh, I think that's a safe bet. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to sleep in the truck tonight and go home in the morning or if we're going to try to go home. It just We'll see how everyone's feeling when we get there to SEVA. Uh, speaking of SEVA, I got an email from, uh, I guess, my, my fleet manager. Uh, his name's Ryan. And uh, he, he, sent a, he sent a really nice email to us uh, saying, you know, he, he's watched the channel, he's enjoyed what he's seen, and uh, he's really, really sorry that we're leaving and uh, we'll be missed. And so, Ryan, if you see this video, I, I know I already emailed you back and I thank you for that email, but really, honestly, thank you for that. It's really nice to um, feel like, you know, people, you're more than just a truck number to somebody, right? And uh, just that the time that you took the time out of your day to day to send that message, it just it meant a lot. So I really appreciate that, Ryan. Thank you. And uh, I know we didn't work together very long because uh, Ryan actually just became our fleet manager. Gosh, I, I want to say three weeks ago. Uh, but in this time that we've been working together, I appreciate you, man. I, I think you're a great fleet manager, and uh, anybody that has you as their manager, they're they're gonna be they're gonna be well taken care of. All right, guys, so looking forward to next week. Today is April 2nd, and by the time this comes out, I don't even know what day it's going to be because I, I got channel on like a weird every other day schedule, so I have quite a few videos built up before this one, uh, but when you guys get to this one, it was actually filmed on April 2nd, so no April Fool's here, <laughs> but looking to next week, what we have planned uh, right now, the plan is uh, we're going to get things in order so Martin can go to work with our authority in our trailer. I don't know which trailer he's going to pick and take a load with, especially that very important first load. I don't know which one it'll be. I don't know if it'll be the reefer or if it'll be the uh, flatbed. But we need to do some more work on the flatbed because that's kind of been left hanging. So we want to have that ready to go. Martin's made a list. Um, right now, it's looking to be about three days worth of work to get the flatbed where it needs to be. So it's how we want it to be for going out on the road. Uh, the other thing is we really want to try to get that APU that we purchased 
on this truck. So I, I've mentioned some comments, but I don't think I've talked about it in the video. We bought an APU a few months back, actually from the fellow that we bought this truck from, his name is Tim. Uh, he had one on another truck that he had purchased and he took it off and he offered it to us and we're like, heck yeah, we'll buy that. So we have a really nice uh, APU to put on this truck. It's just been hanging out, waiting. And I think right now is a good opportunity to put that on. So Martin's actually gonna do the work himself other than probably the air conditioning part of it. We'll, we'll take that in to somebody. Uh, but he's gonna do the install and of course we'll film it. And uh, so that's the plan right now. We wanna work on the trailer, tie up some loose ends on that, tie up some loose ends on this truck and get that APU installed. So that being said, if an awesome load comes along, that's so awesome. It will make us want to like, you know, push that stuff aside. We might take it, but I'm thinking right now and Martin's thinking right now, we're just going to be at home, uh, spend some time with the kids and work on a truck and trailer. So that's, uh, that's what the plan is right now. And we'll probably get a video or two out of that, which of course, you know, we're going to share. And, um, yeah. And then when that's done, it's going to be full steam ahead. Get to work. Uh, at that point, our authority will have three months on it. Uh, we do have an agent who's with Mercer that we plan to work directly with as well. Uh, again, not leasing onto Mercer. Never, never was the plan. It was an agent we used to work with that is with Mercer. And uh, the plan was we we're going to work as a business partner with Mercer, not under their authority, but with our authority. I know there's some confusion on that when we did the trailer purchase video and uh but I, like i said i flatbed rates are better right now uh reefer rates are tempting martin might take that reefer out and go to the midwest and bounce around there for like a week or two and uh then come back home so there's there's a lot of options i just i don't know which one we're going to go with and uh we all we all just gotta wait we just gotta wait. Anyway, I got my McDonald's coffee. I love this stuff and it's so cheap. It's a dollar for any size. Uh, perfect thing to drink before you go to bed, right? Yes, it is. I wanna go say bye to the dinosaurs. It's so windy. I think I'm not going to do it. I know when I said I was going to, and I want to, I'll, uh, I might catch Phil on the way into the truck stop, but as far as seeing Paul, I'm good. <laughs> I don't want to walk in this wind. It's bad. So, um, and I, I'm, I'm tired. I can't think of anything silly to do with them, but, um, you guys that really like just embrace that and, uh, even, you know, the other YouTubers that showed the dinosaurs on their channels and putting hats on them and things like that, you know, you guys are awesome. Um, it was just a silly thing I thought I'd like to do one day. And a lot of you guys just thought, Hey, that that's pretty fun. And you, you hopped on board with me and you know, you guys, you guys are cool. So, all right. I'm going to show you guys our fuel bill here, which I don't know if I said it or not. When we drove through Wyoming, I, again, I did not use the cruise control, bleh, the cruise control once today. My foot is tired, but the truck stayed steady at 6.8 miles per gallon, which considering the wind, I think that was pretty awesome. So I'm going to show you guys how our fuel bill looks. Um, see if we can compare it to just a couple days ago and slide in the axles. And then the next time we check in with you, we're going to be in Sacramento and it's all going to be over. So I just popped off. Can you see that? We got 90 gallons, which we got 90 gallons last time, I guess. So well, I guess we did the same. Is that how much we saved this week, probably? 6 6.66. That's our mileage. That's what it did from Wyoming in this wind. That's pretty damn good. Yeah, no, I'm I'm happy with that. For a it, it, for a big old hooded beast of a pig truck. Well, it's been stupid windy. It has been it bad. Has been like really bad. It's been bad. 
No, I'm happy with that. That's cool. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some manual labor. I'm gonna pull this knob over here. So when he's done topping off, we can slide these axles and go on our merry way. So yeah, this guy right there. That releases the pins. See those pins right there? Yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. All right, so if you're new to trucking or the channel, the reason we do that is California has these bridge laws, is what they call it. Uh, basically, these the rear axles of the trailer need to be 40 foot from your kingpin uh, on the truck. It's for turning radius purposes. And uh, if you're past that, it's a good fine. It's like a, it's a hefty fine sometimes. So that's why, that's why we're sliding those guys forward. So Martin literally filled the tanks all the way as full as possible. It was 100 gallons. When we used to just top them off back when we drove the old way, it was 115 gallons, so we usually put in. So that's pretty stinking cool. Uh, I'm gonna do a video though uh, next week in one of our videos. I'm gonna take some old receipts that we had from uh, last year when we did this route and just compare the numbers because I mean, Receipts won't lie, so we'll figure out what the miles per gallon was on the truck then versus now, amount of gallons purchased then versus now. Um, I'm not going to figure out the price because we all know the price got stupid. Oh man, Phil, what happened to you? Oh man. You getting a fight? Looking a little rough there, buddy. Oh, now I feel bad. All right, Phil. You rock. See you later, buddy. Let's get that looked at, though. It looks pretty bad. There's Paul. Bye, Paul. Let's talk about that this trailer isn't bad, but that's what I found. That's, wow. a, good, that's a good hole in that tire. A little, a little flapper with it. <laughs> it looks like somebody ran something over. Yeah. Well, it's been like that. That's been like that. Yeah. Hopefully, it won't give us no trouble. <laughs> if if it's not fine, we know where to look. Oh, it's got stuff coming out too. All this stuff for Martin to get snagged on. Okay. I like how that truck sounds. I'm going to bed. We're going to. We're going to go to Sacramento. I'm going to bed. There we go. Then Mark, appreciate the heads up. You're looking that way. I didn't see nothing to bother you. Thank you. 
guess he could have blown a steer tide. You never know. You never know what happened. Maybe the guy, maybe he had a, a health spell. hit some form of traffic on our way back. <laughs> Have we? Yes. Like last week we had that traffic there coming down the hill on Donner. Is that last week? Yeah. Pretty sure. Oh, that's close. Saturday. It's Saturday now. And after about 30 minutes, we are going to move. You know they screwed me because I almost got a 30 minute break in. Oh man. It was like 23 minutes, 24 minutes here. I think they all moved to the left lane now. Well, good thing we were up front because we were. I bet you this is packed up for miles now. Why the guards back over here? It's like she's right now in for Michigan, like we're a new truck, even though we've been here. It's weird. All right, we'll see about you later. <laughs> yeah, thanks for not breaking down on the way home. What? <laughs> That's like something on the it's like a tire and over something, but I mean, it was just, you know, it's not bad. Yeah. It's not goodbye, it's more of a see you later. That's it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm fitted up. Fit it up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up. Fit it up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Okay, so here's the plan for next week. Today is Sunday, 
and uh, none of these dates will make sense when these videos come out because I, I kind of got us on a weird schedule. <laughs> so this week right now is actually going to be next week for you guys viewing, but next week is, I don't know, I'm confusing. Anyway, today is April 2nd. When this is filmed, it's April 2nd. It's our last day at SEVA. So next week, which starts tomorrow, today Sunday, uh, we have, no wait, today's Saturday. I can tell you're tired. I am. I'm going to go off there. I'm going to go home. I'm going to drop the trailer. I'm going to go home. I'm going to go home. Sleep. 